Hey guys, sorry about that. Some technical difficulties. My camera just fell down on me. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I left off talking about the rat and the dawn. So, um, like I was saying, this one, the main character, um, volunteers to be the king's next bride so she can get revenge for her best friend's death. And I'm a little over 100 pages into it, and it's really good so far. The only thing is I have no clue how to pronounce any of their names. Their names are just like, uh, yeah, I have, I've got nothing. It's the main character, her name was like, Shazad? Shazad? It's S-H-A-H-Z-A-D. If anyone knows how to pronounce that, let me know. Um, cause I've just, I've just been calling her S in my head, cause I have no idea how to say her name. Um, but yeah. Other than that, it is really good so far. I'm enjoying it. So, anyway, now on to the last stack of books. Yes, we are finally almost done with this haul. Took us forever to sort of get through, but we're getting there. So, this next one... This one I got at Target, and it's Ice Kissed by Amanda Hawkins, um, Hawking, and this is the second book in the Canaan Chronicles, which is a spin-off series from the um, Trill series. So the first book in this series is Frostfire, which I have the first one. I haven't read it yet. But this is the second one. And like I said, it's a spinoff of the chil trilogy. And can't remember what trill is about. All I know is the main character is like some type of troll. Um... I don't know, but it did sound interesting to me at the time, so and I did want to read it. I still need to get those books, but I haven't gotten them yet, but I have the spin-off books. Um, but I'm wondering, do you, should I read the Trill series before I read this um, series? I don't know if I have to read them first. Or if it matters, since it's a spinoff, I don't know. If you guys have read the Chill series, um, and you've read this one, or, you know, if you have any idea which to start with, let me know in the comments below. Because um, I'm not sure, do I need to start with that one? Or can I jump into this one? I don't know. Let me know. Um... So, the next book that I got also from Target, and this one was a signed copy, which I didn't even realize that, even though it says on the cover, they put a sticker on the cover that says autograph copy, but, you know me, I don't pay attention to the stickers. So, I didn't realize it was autographed until I got home. Um, and that is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. And got it at Target. I read um, To All the Boys I Loved Before last year. This is the sequel to All the Boys I Loved Before. And I read that one last year. And I did enjoy it. Um, I was surprised because I enjoyed it uh, more than I thought I would. 
I wouldn't say I loved it, but I did enjoy it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, the only thing, the main character to me when I read it, she seemed younger than it said she was. But um, still, I'm interested to see what's going on with Laura Jean and what's happening with her in this book. So, yep. And if you can see right there is Jenny Han's signature. So, yeah. Then, this next book. This next one that I got is, um, I got it because, and I don't even quite remember what it's about. All I remember is, um, there was a statement saying, um, for fans of, um, for fans of Leigh Bardugo's Gracia Trilogy and Cassandra Clare's Mortal Instrument series, um, they would love this book. And I love the Mortal Instrument series, and I haven't read the Gracia Trilogy, but um, from what it sounds like, I'm pretty sure if I read it, I would love it as well. Seems like my type of book. So I had to get this one. And it's called The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. And this is one of my, um, it's one of my most anticipated books of this year, of 2015. So I cannot wait to get into it. Um, I've heard from other people that um, there, you can see the par parallels between this and Mortal Instruments um, or the Gracia Trilogy. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to get to this one. Like I said, I don't really remember what it's about, um, but I know I want to read it. So that's all that really matters to me. And the cover is super, super pretty. Like... I love the color. I love um, the color and the font. And it is just a super pretty, gorgeous book. And I'd probably get this book just for the cover alone. I really would, because it's so pretty. Anyway, so. The last book that I have to show you guys, this one is, um, this one I also read in May, I actually just finished it yesterday morning, and I really, really enjoyed this book. I'll talk about it a lot more in my May wrap-up video, and... <clears throat> This video is going so long that I'm losing my voice. Okay. So, um, I'll talk about this more in my May wrap-up video. But that is An Ember in the Ashes by uh, Sab Sabar? Sab Sabar? Sabar? Saba. Yeah. Sa Saba to here. I always butcher people's names. Okay. I think it's Saba to here. Okay. But An Ember in the Ashes by Saba to here. And I really, really, really enjoyed this book. And I'm so glad I got it and read it. Because this, um, this book isn't a book that I would normally pick up on my own. Um, it just... Yeah, it's not a book I would normally pick up on my own, but I picked it up because of BookTube. You guys, you guys are always making me buy books. That's why I'm always broke. I see book hauls and book reviews, and I'm like, oh, I want that, and I want that. Anyway, so, um, yeah. I normally wouldn't, wouldn't have picked this up on my own, 
but I'm glad I did. I'm glad BookTube made me pick up this book because I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I gave it a four, I think. Yeah, four out of five stars. I will, or 4.5, I can't remember. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I'll talk about it more in my wrap-up video. And like I said, I am losing my voice. So I'm probably going to wrap this video up soon because I really can't talk right now. I need some water. Um, yeah. So those, we finally made it through my humongous book haul. I don't think I'll have a haul this big again until, probably not until my birthday. Yeah, probably the next huge book haul will be my birthday. So, yeah. Those are all the books I have to show you guys. Let me know what books you guys have accumulated in May. Um, and which ones you've read. What you thought about them. And yeah, I'm going to go. My voice. I need water. I will see you guys next time with another video. Hopefully it won't be weeks. I will try not to be lazy on the weekends and try not to procrastinate which I'm horrible at but yeah I'll see you guys next time with another video bye